Most modern societies use fossil fuels, coal, oil, and natural gas to generate power. Kirstenstad, Sweden, is one of the most sustainable modern cities on the planet. Instead of fossil fuels, it uses biological waste products to fuel its cars and electrify and heat its homes. Like other European communities, Kiranstadt has an efficient public transportation system to reduce the use of cars. It also employs solar panels and wind turbines to generate electricity. But Kiranstadt has gone three steps beyond this. First, it uses biogas to replace gasoline in cars and buses. In most modern countries of the world, organic waste is simply tossed into landfills where it rots and produces methane, a greenhouse gas that is 25 times more powerful than CO2. Last year, our landlord told us that we had to recycle more. We recycle um, coffee, coffee beans, eggs, leftover food from last night's dinner, stale cheese, and all types of organic food, and we throw it in a paper bag, and then we throw it in the bin outside. It's taken to a special garbage disposal. The organics turns into biogas. In addition, slaughterhouse waste is cut up and emulsified. The emulsified waste is pumped into a truck and driven to a biogas facility. Treated human waste and animal manure is added to the mix. The bio waste is put into an anaerobic environment where it digests and ferments for 22 days. The gaseous biogas is sent through pipes to the city. Some biogas is upgraded to be used to fuel buses, cars, as well as an electrical power plant. In addition, Kirstenstad uses wood chips and sawdust rather than coal to produce electricity. This is Alavakiet. We have two boilers, 25 megawatts and 50 megawatts, and we, with that we can produce both electricity and heat. We use a lot of wood chips, about 50% from the forest. To produce the heat and electricity, we use 98% biofuel, so it's a very little part uh, that is fossil fuel, as is coal and oil or something. The dark grey house here is the new boiler house, where we have installed a new boiler for 25 megawatt. The white small house here is for the bottom ash system. In the silver siler here we have ammonium to reduce nitrogen oxide in the burning process. Here comes the gas from the landfill and from the digesting system. And we are, here inside here we have the, the boiler. It's a hot water boiler. When we burn it, and produce steam. It's a steam turbine. The, the steam is coming in in the large uh, white pipe. It turns the turbine to spin. It can produce 50 megawatt of fossil free electricity. And this big pipe here is steam uh, leading down to the heat exchanger. Dark blue tube up here. It's the heat exchanger. Steam goes in the top from a turbine. So we put in 50 degrees cold water from our customers and heat it up in the heat exchanger in the winter to about 90 degrees centigrade. This is one of the three district heat pumps that pumps out the hot water to the customers. And then it goes out to the pumps and then it's distributed. The large white one here, it's 4,000 cubic meters of hot water. We can store heat when we have much production and when the customers need more than we can produce, we can take out some hot water. The hot water is used to, uh, to heat up the households and schools, and the heat is distributed here in Kristianstad as district heating.
the community of Kiranstad converts sewage, garbage, slaughterhouse waste, and wood chips to produce biogas, electricity, and heat. It strives to be free of fossil fuels by using renewable energy.